On the two great drives, um, we're interested in both prospect and refuge. And that's why we're drawn to landscapes always that show, you know, a lot of green, a lot of water, but then some indication that, oh, look at that light. There's a path over there. Ooh, wouldn't that be kind of cool to go explore? If, if uh, all these landscapes only showed refuge, well, that's kind of boring. But if the landscapes also only showed prospect and no refuge, that would be kind of stress inducing because we wouldn't have any sense of a safe space. So we really do want those two things, both prospect and refuge. And our whole species, you know, history has been the story of trying to balance those two things out. That's so interesting that you say that. That that's fascinating. That's a fa I've never heard anybody break those two down because I went hunting in Alaska in the middle of nowhere. We had to take a seaplane, and every one of us, we were out there in the middle of nowhere, and every one of us there was no refuge. And so all of us kept talking about how sad it made us feel. How, how we were all kind of stressed, in fact, about that. That's so interesting because all of us were like looking at this. Oh, sure, it's beautiful. It does not give a shit about you. You're in the middle of nowhere, man, and there's nowhere to go. It's like I got, I'm up and even the animals were like, it's way too high. Fuck this place. We're going down. And we couldn't find any animals. And I, it was so interesting because all of us had a deep sense of almost s sadness. We got depressed at looking at this insanely beautiful uh, landscape, but again, you, like you said, that, that that must have been what it was. There was no refuge. It was just prospect, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You need, you need to have both.